a bridge from Afghanistan to Uzbekistan, the only passage between the two countries. It's a door to Central Asia and used to be a busy stop on the Silk Road trade route. But today these railroad tracks are often empty. 80 kilometers away in the provincial capital, mazar sharif traders feel the pinch. The situation is not good. There are no wagons, no ships carrying goods to this side, no trucks. In the last few years, if we bought something, we had to wait five to six days for a ship to be free and deliver the goods. But nowadays, there are no ships and no one is importing. Mohammed says his company's income has decreased by 70 percent in less than a decade. After the Taliban regime was toppled in 2001, aid came pouring in, businesses flourished, and so did hope. But with the end of the NATO's combat mission two years ago, things are going downhill. In the past, there were many foreign offices, and they gave us many projects. But now there are no more projects coming from foreigners. The foreigners brought aid before, but now there's nothing. After more than three decades of war, Afghanistan's economy is in ruins, and over a fifth of the working population is unemployed. The country produces very little on its own, and when it does, it struggles to export the goods, blaming high taxes and shipments delayed by neighbors fearing competition. If they want to export raisins or mandarins, it will wait too long in Hyreton and the goods will go bad. In the past, we used to export mandarins, raisins and potatoes to Uzbekistan and Central Asia. Trade with Central Asia has dropped by 60 percent in six years. And in a country still plagued by terrorism and insecurity, the future is bleak. While most of this province is safe, the Taliban have launched their annual spring offensive in neighboring regions, bringing the threat ever closer and potentially putting further pressure on traders.